Hello friends, my listeners, welcome back to Seek the Soul. The truth lies within. You see the soul is over here right now. And the soul is the only thing which is the truth. So I'm here to speak to you the truth because truth brings peace to everybody's mind. So when I talk the truth over here and your ears listen to the truth, everything becomes simpler. Everything becomes peaceful. So what do we talk on this one channel for all? Let's check this out. So welcome back. Today we are going to talk about something which is very crucial. You see a lot of you are actually thinking about going through the times when you were able to go along with your friends, you were able to actually meet your friends and you were able to actually dine with them, go out with them, enjoy with them. You're not able to do that right now. You know the reason why. So is it safe to actually go out and eat? Is it okay? to eat outside food. You decide. I'm here to just give you some data. I'm not here to tell you to do it or not to do it. But think about it right now. You know the condition of the mind of people out there. You see there's a lot of fear in people's mind. You see people are sad because they might have lost their jobs or somebody in their home is not well or they're facing certain medical issues or they're not able to travel so much or they're far away from their families. There can be so many other reasons too, right? So. What do you think is the state of the mind of people right now? And since you're on a channel in which we talk about meditation and how thoughts affect your body, go and check that video out. How your thoughts affect your health. So if your thoughts can affect your health, imagine a person who's sad. Imagine a person who's just gone through losing somebody in their family. What exactly that person must be going through? And let's say if that person is working in a restaurant where you go and eat, where you actually go and enjoy your meal with your loved ones or you go and you pack up that food and you bring it back home because you're not supposed to sit together because of social distancing. So what do you think is going on in that person's mind? Do you think the vibrations, the thoughts which that soul is leaving out while cooking is going to be right? Do you think those vibrations of sadness which are going to be actually absorbed by the water or the hydrant in the food, which is water actually. Do you think those vibrations of sadness when they are absorbed by water and that water which is being used for cooking or the water which is there in the grains, the water which is there in the vegetables, the natural content of water which is there in them, when they absorb that sadness, when they absorb that vibration and that is what you eat right there or that is what you take back home right there. Well, we were talking about taking care of our own thoughts so as to take care of our overall health. Well, can you get affected by those thoughts? Can those thoughts affect you when you eat? So one thing first, as you eat, so shall your mind be. As you eat, so shall your body be. And we only take care of the calories. We only take care of what content of fat and carbohydrates and protein goes into our body. Well, you can check my diet with Shanu and you can find out what is good for you to eat. All those things are okay. But there is something more important than that. And that is your mental calories. So are you getting the right kind of mental calories? When you're cooking at home, when your mother is cooking for you, she's thinking love. She's thinking peace. Maybe she's playing a good, beautiful, harmonious song related to God. And she's cooking like our grandmother used to do it in the olden days. Very few people, very few homes are doing it. I do it in my house. Sometimes I put on that music of 6.30 to 7.30 evening meditation when I do it at my home. And my wife and myself, we are together, we're cooking. And we're listening to that beautiful music, which we call it as a bhajan over here in India. If you are an outsider, a Westerner who's listening to my video, or we put on some kind of music which is in praise of God and we start cooking together. And that's the vibration which you're sending into your food. Now imagine the kind of vibration 
which that person who is not meditating, who is maybe not peaceful in his mind, who has maybe lost some money because of job issues, has changed jobs because the previous job owner or the business owner did not let him continue in the job. So there are a lot of things which are playing over here. So first thing first, do you want to even eat that kind of food? I'm not saying you totally give away or totally stop eating it. Maybe later on when things become a little better. But do you think this is the right time to go and have that kind of food? Second thing, you can leave a comment and you can let me know whether it's the right choice to make or not. What do you feel about it? Second thing over here again. At this point of time, do you think that the businesses are able to procure the right quality of ingredients? You see, a lot of businesses, I don't want to blame any business person. I don't want to point out any business person over here. I don't want to point out any restaurant over here. I don't want to point out any any eatery which is actually making food and trying to, you know, trying to make up in the business, in the losses at this present time. But tell me something. A lot of businesses are going through issues. Do you know the right restaurant to go to, the right owner who's not going to put anything which is second grade into your food? Maybe that person was using something first grade, but now just to recover those losses and that person might just out of greed start using which is something second grade. Go and check it out in your restaurant. You can go to that person, you can ask them, are you using the right kind of oil? Are you using the right kind of ingredients? You have the right to do it because you're paying the money for it, right? So ask that question. I hope you find somebody who's going to be truthful to you. But let's say it is better to take the precaution, right? Than to be sorry later on. So the hygiene is the third thing which I'm going to talk to you about. The present pandemic is not letting a lot of people come out and work. Even our municipalities, even our uh, workers who are taking care of the general hygiene of the cities, most of them are not able to report at home, from home to work, right? So when this kind of situation is arising, do you think there's the right hygiene when it comes to your water, when it comes to sanitation? Do you think the right environment is there for even restaurants to work, for even workers to work and take care of things? Well, it is all up to you to decide whether your hygiene levels in your city are good or not, whether the hygiene level in your restaurants are good or not. It's not just about using the sanitizer. It's not just about putting a face mask. It's not just about putting a glove, right? There's much more than that. So what is the best place to have your food from? You see, I live in my homestay in Darjeeling. So here what I do is I need to take care of my hygiene. I need to take care that my hands are clean. I need to take care of my sanitization. I need to take care that the food items which come to my home are cleaned up. I need to also take care of the fact that I am actually in a state of meditation. That's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris, the spiritual organization, that we need to be there in a state of meditation or in a peaceful state when we are cooking. So when I'm doing that cooking, I am actually not just putting the right ingredients. I'm also taking care of the right vibrations which are going into it. So are you doing that? Stay on to me because I'll be uploading some more meditations about how do you meditate when you cook so as to send the right vibrations so that your loved ones, your family members, your children, they are taken care of, your husband is taken care of or your wife is being taken care of mentally as well as when it comes to nutrients. So do check out my diet with Shanu. Do check out the exercises which I have spoken about. And do check out my channel because it's one challenge for all. So all the things under this one single channel, go ahead and listen to them. And do subscribe and do like and share if you like this video. Because sharing is what is going to get you the blessings. Till then, bye-bye. See you again.